With Valentine's Day just two days away, a helium shortage is deflating the hopes of florists and balloon shop owners. It's a frustrating development for them. RTV6's Derek Thomas joins us now with that story. Derek. Todd, helium is a colorless, odorless gas, but it has a possibility of letting the air out of Valentine's Day. Ruth Olson won't be able to do this as often as she would like during this Valentine's Day crush. Mike Lenekamp wants balloons with this floral arrangement for his wife. I don't think it makes her that much happy. I just think it's part of the ensemble. And you like it? I do. I do. And you, when you want it, do you want it? That's it. That's it. But it's been a struggle getting helium to inflate the balloons. The price is about two and a half, three times what it normally is. I, I was able to get helium last week. Um, but I got a small tank, not our regular. So at Valentine's, I won't do balloon bouquets. We'll do balloon add-ons. If you want to add a balloon to a dozen roses, we can do that. But I can't do our regular seven balloon bouquet. Indiana Oxygen provides helium and other gases to companies throughout the state. It is not Olson's provider, but we talked to their president by phone about the helium shortage. And when you consider that there is an increasing demand, not just balloon helium, but um, you know, from, from a uh, research and development, from the MRIs and from lasers and LCD production and so forth, the demand for a while seemed to be outgaining the supply. Olson has resisted the urge to increase prices for her balloons due to the increased price for helium. It is uncertain how long she will be able to maintain that discipline. It is, after all, a business, but for her, it is a labor of love. Now, there are hopes for increased domestic helium production in states like Wyoming and from countries like Algeria and Australia, but really the shortage has no end in sight. Derek Thomas, RTV6.